Welcome everyone to the Women's Division 1 High Jump Competition at the European Athletics Team, Championships 2023. Division 1 comprises of two groups, A and B. As you already know, the cameras choose to focus on Group A, so almost all the action will be from Group A. I know you can't wait to meet the athletes. So here we go. First up, we have 25-year-old Nawal Meneker from France. The former European under-20 silver medalist is beginning to find her groove again after injuries held back her career for a while. She comes here with a season and personal best of 1.93 meters. Tatiana Gusen, a six-time national champion, the 29-year-old Greek comes here with a personal and season best of 1.92 meters. Buse Shavaskin from Turkey, the 24-year-old, twice national indoor and outdoor champion, comes here with a personal and season best of 1.88 meters. 24-year-old Ella Jonila from Finland. A former European indoor and also a former European under-23 bronze medalist, the Finn will try to improve her season best of 1.87 meters today. And the youngest in the field, 18-year-old Meryl Mays from Belgium. A former under-18 European bronze medalist, the talented youngster comes here with a season best of 1.92 meters. Bianca Salming from Sweden, the 24-year heptathlon specialist, is a six-time national heptathlon champion. A season best of 1.88 meters for the Swede, Laura Zeiler, the Commonwealth Games finalist in Birmingham 2022 and a former national indoor champion, the 24-year-old Brit comes here with a season best of 1.90 meters. Salome Lang from Switzerland. The 25-year-old is a six-time national outdoor and a four-time national indoor champion. She also holds the Swiss national record in the outdoor high jump. Her season best of 1.90 meters came earlier this month. So those were the athletes who will be competing today. All the athletes are in top shape and good form as suggested by their season bests. Some with their season best as their personal best. So get ready for a cracker of a competition. We might show you some action from Group B as well, as an added bonus. The bar is set at 1.71 meters. Don't forget, you are watching Portal Sports. Any help in the form of a super thanks is more than welcome. Goosen to kick off the proceedings. Goosen indicating her relief by wiping off the imaginary sweat off her forehead. These opening heights can sometimes be the hardest to clear, so her reaction there is completely understandable. Gusin begins the competition with a decent jump. Salming, the second athlete to attempt 1.71 meters. and a comfortable clearance by the Swede as she glides over the bar. For those who don't know, Salming is the daughter of popular Swedish ice hockey player, Borja Salming. She generated good power during her takeoff there. It's a solid start to the competition for her, setting a positive tone for her performance. Only two athletes attempted 1.71 meters as the bar goes up to 1.76 meters. Shavaskin, the first athlete to attempt 1.76 meters. Plenty of daylight between her and the bar as Shavaskin clears 1.76 meters on her first attempt. It's a respectable effort. Let's see how she progresses from here and maintains her momentum throughout the competition. Meryl Mace. The teenager has won every high jump competition she has participated in so far this year. This jump shows promise and indicates she's in excellent form. Her precision and timing are on full display as she effortlessly clears the bar. One point seven six meters is not high enough for Salming, 
as she also clears the height on her first attempt. Her clearance technique is flawless, with a well-timed and controlled tuck and rotation over the bar. And Zyalor also joins the party. She maintains a consistent and powerful penultimate stride, setting up for a strong takeoff. Lang with her first attempt at 1.76 meters. The six-time Swiss national champion had no problem clearing that height. Her powerful leap propels her to a successful clearance, showcasing her athletic prowess. The height of 1.76 meters did not pose a problem to any of the athletes as expected. Meneker ready for her first attempt as the bar goes up to 1.80 meters. And she clears the bar with inches to spare. A great start for her in this competition. Meneker endured a series of recurring injuries including four fractures in her patellar tendon, which impacted her performance from 2017 to 2022. During this period, she consistently competed at heights ranging from 1.70 to 1.75 meters, falling far short of the national standard. It's nice to witness her in a state of complete fitness, trying to revive her career. Gusin with her first attempt at 1.80 meters. Just the hint of a wiggle as she brushes the bar on her way over. The outcome is all that matters as Gusin clenches her fists in a gesture of triumph. The bar seems too low to Gusin, who flawlessly clears it with fluidity and skill. Shavaskan, her first attempt at 1.80 meters. No issues there for the Turkish champion as she approaches the bar with determination, soaring over it effortlessly. Junila with her first jump of the competition. A good start by the Finn. She times her jump perfectly, initiating the takeoff at the optimal moment for maximum height. Her jump of 1.95 meters in 2019 is an outdoor high jump national record. Mace displays exceptional body control, transitioning smoothly over the bar without any difficulty. And the first failed attempt of the competition as Salming knocks the bar over trying to clear 1.80 meters.
She didn't quite get the lift she needed and clips the bar on her way down. Laying with her first attempt at 1.80 meters. Just a slight brush of her hips and the bar goes down. Salming with her last attempt at 1.80 meters. She needs to get this right to stay in the competition. That was a textbook jump right there. The approach, the clearance, everything was spot on. Lang with her last attempt at 1.80 meters. The Swiss under pressure to get it right on her last attempt. Her team giving her the encouragement she needs. And she makes it through to the next round as she clears the bar on her third attempt. Relief on the face of the Swiss champion as she times her takeoff perfectly and soars over the bar. The new height, 1.84 meters. Meneker will be the first athlete to have a go at the new height. A high-flying leap, she explodes off the ground and clears the bar with authority. Meneker is looking really good. If she maintains her rhythm, she can easily finish in the top three here. Gossin with her first attempt at 1.84 meters. A mistimed jump leaves her with insufficient height and she crashes into the bar. Shavaskin is looking really good here with her third consecutive third attempt clearance. Her rotation was a beautiful thing to watch. It was a perfect example of how technique can be used to clear a high bar with ease, and she did it all with a smooth and graceful motion. Jonala knocks down the bar on her first attempt at 1.84 meters. A slight brush of her hips and the bar goes down, as we see on many occasions.
Lang clears 1.84 meters on her first attempt. An impressive display of technique and athleticism, Lang made that look easy. Mays with her second attempt at 1.84 meters. What a beautiful technique. She bends her knees, arches her back, and sails over the bar flawlessly. Her trail leg extends fully, allowing her to clear the bar with no contact. Salming with her second attempt at 1.84 meters. The technique looked promising, but the execution fell short. The hamstring of her takeoff leg grazed the bar on her way down, knocking it over. Disappointment for her team. Gathering her thoughts before her final attempt. Gusian with her third attempt at 1.84 meters. Under pressure to deliver the Greek. A great jump over the bar as she celebrates her success. Junila with her third attempt at 1.84 meters. And sadly, it is the end for her in this competition. Unfortunately, her timing was off and she couldn't make it over. Today was not meant to be her day as the immensely talented Finn exits the competition. The bar now goes up to 1.87 meters. Salming decided not to take her third attempt. In case you are wondering where is Zyler, she hurt herself and retired from the competition. Meneker with her first failed attempt of the competition as she knocks down the bar trying to clear 1.87 meters. Despite a strong takeoff, her hips graze the bar and as a result, the bar comes crashing down. Goosen also fails her first attempt at 1.87 meters, this new height already bothering the athletes. Almost like a replay of the previous jump by Meneker, her hips make contact with the bar, denying her the chance of a successful jump. Shavaskin with her first attempt at 1.87 meters, Shavaskin showing the other athletes how it's done as she gets her fourth consecutive first attempt clearance. A perfect execution as she arches her back and sails over the bar effortlessly. Notice the quick and efficient rotation of her hips generating rotational energy for the jump. The bar wiggles but stays put as Mies clears 1.87 meters on her first attempt. Not sure if it was her hips or legs that grazed the bar.
Lang with her first attempt at 1.87 meters. Her hips bring down the bar, resulting in a failed attempt. Menneker races through her second attempt as she flies over the bar clearing 1.87 meters on her second attempt. She makes it look effortless, a flawless jump that demonstrates her skill and control. Goosen with her second attempt at 1.87 meters. Yes! screams Gussin, showing how much that meant to her. She attacks the bar with power and clears it convincingly. Lang with her second attempt at 1.87 meters. not the result she wanted. And it seems she is ending her competition here as she claps and waves at the crowd. A mistimed jump leaves her with insufficient height and she crashes into the bar. A good show nevertheless by Lang. She displayed great skill and athleticism. The bar is now set at 1.90 meters. Menneker ready to have a go at the new height. What a marvelous clearance there by the French as she jumps up with joy. Smooth takeoff and precise body control, she executes a backward rotation over the bar to clear the height effortlessly. Goosen would be looking to emulate what she just saw. Looks like she will not use her remaining attempts as she waves goodbye at the crowd. Once again, her hips knocking the bar down. Good effort by Goosen. It was a pleasure to watch her compete today. Shavaskin has impressed us so far with all of her first attempt clearances and her first failure of the competition. No first attempt clearance on that occasion by Shavaskin. Looks like I jinxed her. Her coach probably telling her to take off a few inches before to get her timing right. Mays with her first attempt at 1.90 meters. She will have to redo that again. and she is back to try and clear 1.90 meters on her second attempt.
The bar wiggles as it catches the back of her legs, but it does not fall as the 18-year-old clears 1.90 meters. She fails to extend her trail leg in time, but lucky for her, it did not cost her the jump. Shavaskin with her last attempt at 1.90 meters. Disappointment for the Turk as she fails to clear 1.90 meters. She was doing so well and suddenly she has three failed attempts in a row. Her journey in the competition has come to an abrupt end. Such is the uncertain nature of sports. The new height, 1.92 meters, and only two athletes left in the Group A competition. Did you hear that scream? That is the scream of euphoria. Meneker clears 1.92 meters on her very first attempt. Executing a picture-perfect jump, she showcases her athleticism and technical mastery in achieving a successful clearance. Mace with her first attempt at 1.92 meters. Even though she failed, she got very close there. The youngster, taking her time recollecting her mental self before she has another go at 1.92 meters. It would be a new personal best for her if she accomplishes it. And what a marvelous effort there by the teenager to clear 1.92 meters. It's a new personal best for her as well. Her jump is a testament to her technical proficiency as she flawlessly executes the required movements to clear the bar. Her coach not hiding his excitement there. The bar is now set at 1.94 meters. It's between Meneker and Mace. Meneker is in the lead having taken less attempts for her successful clearances. That was a valiant effort, but she just couldn't quite make it over. She still has two attempts left. Now Mace, with her first attempt at 1.94 meters. The 18-year-old has been so impressive throughout this competition.
and she knows she was very close there. Meneker with her second attempt at 1.94 meters. She gave it her all, but it wasn't enough to clear the height. She'll have to regroup and refocus after that failed jump. Meneker having a lengthy discussion with her coach before her last attempt. Mace has decided to end her competition, but what an amazing talent. The 18-year-old has given us enough reason to predict she would be a big name in the sport in a few years' time. Now Meneker with her last attempt at 1.94 meters. She has already won the Group A competition here. It's now about getting as close to the 2 meters mark as possible. Daniela Stansiu has already cleared 1.94 meters in Division 2. If Meneker can clear 1.94 meters here, she might be in contention for an individual silver medal. A good effort there by Meneker. Meneker wins the Division 1 Group A competition. She didn't quite get the lift she needed and clips the bar on her way down. Congratulations to Meneker for winning the Division I competition. Hopefully we will get to see more of her in the future. We now cross over to the other side to witness the final moments of the Group B competition. 25-year-old Michaela Hruba of the Czech Republic is on her second attempt at 1.92 meters. She knocks down the bar and calls it a day. A seven-time national indoor champion, a four-time national outdoor champion, a European under-20 champion, and a world under-18 as well as a world under-20 champion. These are just some of her achievements. Her coach probably changed her mind to go for the third attempt. She's already achieved a season best of 1.90 meters in this competition already. Hruba with her third attempt at 1.92 meters. She got nowhere near to clearing the bar on that attempt as she waves the crowd goodbye. Overall, she finishes third in the competition, looking at the combined results of Group A and B. A good effort by the Czech star. These are the results of the competition. You are watching Portal Sports. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. See you again.